warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide solely non-medical care for our clients of the same quality we'd provide that care for a loved one. February 3rd was National Missing Persons Day. According to the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System, about 600,000 people are reported missing each year in the U.S. alone for reasons including mental illness, domestic violence, or if they're victim of a crime. With the elderly population, a big reason is due to cognitive impairment like dementia. Over the past several years, there have been great strides made in the world of Alzheimer's and other dementias, from the launch of Trial Match through the Alzheimer's Association, which allows caregivers, healthy individuals, and people living with dementia to match with different clinical trials that can qualify for, um, for advancing research. We also saw uh, CMS implement mandatory cognitive assessments as part of annual wellness visits for our seniors, increases in funding for Alzheimer's research on a federal level. In 2021, we saw aducanumab as a new treatment receiving FDA approval. And in 2023, we saw lecanemab as another form of treatment receiving FDA approval. Alzheimer's affects everyone differently. Some experience a decline in cognition quicker than others. Some may experience significant changes in their personality or moods, may experience sundowning, or even pose a risk for wandering. While there are programs and support on a national level to keep loved ones living with dementia safe, I'm really excited to see more support coming to us on a local level. On December 7th, 2023, the Connecticut State Police in partnership with the Alzheimer's Association launched the Bring Me Back Home program, which is specific to people that are missing as a result of dementia and wandering, and it's designed to help find these individuals faster. Bring Me Back Home connects to the Connecticut Online Law Enforcement Communications Teleprocessing System, also known as Collect, and provides law enforcement with an updated photo of the person, their full name, nicknames, any current and prior addresses they've had, employers, the names of their children, hobbies that they have, and license plate numbers if they still drive. All law enforcement has to do is type the missing person's name into the collect system and they have access to all of this information rather than family having to continually provide the information to anybody new coming onto the case, which can take up really valuable time. If you have a loved one who poses a risk for wandering, it's important to use the Bring Me Back Home system, which can be found at portal.ct.gov and you can search Bring Me Back Home. If you find that your loved one has gone missing as a result of wandering, you'll need to call 911, provide dispatchers with your loved one's name, and let dispatchers know that they are part of the Bring Me Back Home program. Help us raise awareness of this new Connecticut program. While you might not need it, sharing the program could help a neighbor, coworker, a friend, or another family member. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abc centralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.